me how to play hopscotch and gave me this hopscotch game to put in the clubhouse. Wanna see? Oh, wait. It helps if you pretend to be a bunny. They're the best at hopping. Here I go. Count with me. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now it's time to turn around and go back. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Watch this. Four, three, two, one. This is fun, but it would be more fun if my friends were here. But my uncle isn't here to teach them how to play. Ho! Ho! Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Ho! Ho! Playing all by yourself, are you? Yes, I am, Ollie. My uncle isn't here to teach my friends how to play. Uncles are good teachers, it's true. But young people can be teachers, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho! Ho! Follow me through. and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Wanna see my latest creation? Ta-da! <laughs> they are my mini cupcakes because good things come in small packages. Which reminds me of today's story. If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible is about a king. Now, when I think of kings, I think of someone older and wiser, someone who can lead the people. But the king in today's story was a kid. Yep, King Josiah was only a kid. Now, think about what most kids are doing, like eating ice cream or playing with blocks or kicking a soccer ball. But this kid was actually the king, which meant he had a lot of people to lead. 
King Josiah wanted to do what was right. He wanted to show the people how to go God's way. One day, his workers found a very special book. Do you know what it said? That God's way is perfect. <laughs> that God loves us and knows what's best for us. So right then and there, King Josiah jump, jumped <laughs> and went God's way. And then he called all the people and told them that God's way is perfect. God loves you and God knows what's best for you. So jump, jump and go God's way, everyone. Wow, isn't that amazing? Even when King Josiah was a kid, he told others about God's way. Now, here's a question. Do you think you as a kid could also tell others about God's way? Of course you can. There are lots of ways to do it. You can tell a friend, hey, God's way is perfect. Or you could show them every day when you go God's way. They'll see what God's way is like when they watch you sharing and helping others. No matter if you're young or old, you can go God's way and tell others about it because God's way is perfect. <laughs> did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <gasps> hey there, Ollie, tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> So there's your story, and it's all true. Josiah taught others about God's way, and so can you. Ho, ho. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, Josiah became a king when he was a kid, and he taught others to follow God's way, because God's way is perfect. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say got it, get it? Got it! Good! I can tell others that God's way is perfect and I can teach my friends how to play hopscotch. I'll see you guys next time. I think I'm gonna play some more. use on you know what that means time to jump jump to our Bible verse of the month let's do it together God's way is perfect 2nd Samuel 22 31 let's do it again God's way is perfect 2nd Samuel 22 31 okay let's jump hi Scilife kids are you ready for your lesson review? It's me, Miss Alice. Are you ready to jump, jump, and go God's way? Well, before we do that, let's go over our Bible verse of the month. God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22, 31. Let's say it again. God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22, 31. Now, when I ask, Whose way is perfect? I want you to say, God's way is perfect. That's right, boys and girls. Let's try it again. I ask, whose way is perfect? Now you say nice and loud, God's way is perfect. He knows the perfect way for us. What book is this, boys and girls? That's right, it's the Bible. And our lesson comes from the book of Second Chronicles. Now, we hear, about a king. But there was something very special about this king. Hmm. Do you remember what was very special about this king? 
Let's see. I know. He was a king crab. No, that's silly. Of course not. Let's think. Oh, I know. He was the Lion King. No, that wasn't it either, though that'd be super cool. Let's think. There was something about his age, so he must have been very old. No, that wasn't it either. Hmm, boys and girls, can you help me remember what was very special about this king? You're right. He was just a boy, and his name was King Josiah, and he was very young. But he was trying to show his country how to go God's way. Well, one day something happened. His workers found something that could help him make sure his country went God's way. Do you remember what it was? Hmm, let's think. I know. It must have been a bunch of puppies. No, they're awfully cute. But I don't think that was it. Let's think. There was... Oh, was it hamburgers? Mmm, they look yummy, but that wasn't it either. I know. It was on paper, so it must have been a treasure map. Was that it, boys and girls? No. Then what was it? That's right. It was God's Word. God's Word was written on a scroll, like our Bible. And it told King Josiah how to go God's way and how perfect it was. King Josiah was so happy, he decided to share it with all his people. He said, we all need to go God's way. God's way is perfect, and he loves you very much. Boys and girls, his whole country listened, and that's because King Josiah knew that God loved him and everybody, and his way was perfect. Makes me think of our Bible verse of the month. God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22, 31. Let's say it one more time. God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22, 31. Now when I ask, whose way is perfect? I want you to say, God's way is perfect. It sure is, boys and girls. He knows the perfect way for us. Wow, you did so awesome on your lesson review. You know what, boys and girls? I just want to make sure you know, Miss Alice loves you, but you know what? Jesus loves you even more. Bye.